Hey kids, do you like painting? I do like. Let's try to paint some bulb. I'll just open this. I'll go to start menu. I'll try to search for paint. I got something. I open the paint. Here we are. Now to draw one bulb, what we need need? we need to have an oval okay i'll just take one oval and i'll try to draw this oval yep then i'll need to have some tail and that tail is here Oopie. correct I'll just shift it little bit up and then one small bird at the end okay now we need one eraser this eraser will erase this additional line we don't want it I did something wrong okay almost better yeah and now let's erase this also that's good yep and then draw some lines vertical one oops two two three you know what these lines are in the bulb you have threads which fit into the holder okay there is small line coming out of its area we'll just remove them oops I did it wrong again I'll just go near a little and I click on it it's done now I'll save it okay save boy I have some folder always remember you have to put all your work in one folder so I select some file name I call it off because the bulb is not on yet the PNG is the file type we keep it same okay now what we will do is we will turn on this light which color you like i like red color so what i'll do is i'll pick up the red color you see it here then i'll take the bucket i'll paint it with the red color once i paint it then i need to save it as a different file so i click on save as instead of save and i name it as on so now we have same bulb with two states that is on and off now i don't need paint so i'll just close this so if you see here if i double click on it it is on it is off it is on it is off oops done okay now we will create one uh, small page on that page we will create some buttons with that we can turn on and turn off the light to do so we'll just go to google oh google give me some editor where i can write html so which is the editor it is visual studio code just go here come on yeah you click on this you can take help of the parents ask them to download it they will download it for you and they'll install it for you once you install and you open Visual Studio Code you just need to go to start menu and search for Visual Studio Code so here if you see it's a Visual Studio not 17 it is Visual Studio Code what we want 
okay when it opens it opens something like this we don't want welcome at all we are already welcomed so if I just double click on this then it gives me one empty file what I need to do is I'll just first save this file as HTML I have my same folder open where I had the painting store so we name it as light and we need to choose some extension that is HTML I'll click on save so if you see the file name is light.html I'll start writing HTML oh god HTML see how clever it is use angle brackets type HTML and it automatically does the second HTML part. then head and then body do you have head yep if you have head then HTML also has head if you have your body then HTML also has your body whatever your head does HTML head does the same thing what your body does HTML body does the same thing okay but I'm not going to tell right now what they actually do we'll make use of this part that is body what I will do now is I will try to open that image in this body how the painting I want here I'll just click on say IMG IMG means image that is the picture or a photo and I'll give one I'll type something that is SRC stands for source from where I should pick up the image as long as you are in the same folder if you see that file is created here and all these files are in the same folder so you don't need to do anything special just put the file name what is the file name of so I'll put off and then what was the type it was PNG okay let's check whether it shows that file I'll just save this here okay and then I'll just go back here I'll double click this light file oops it has shown something oh good now the magic comes now what I want is I want to create two buttons button T-O-N okay and I want to say this button as turn on the light or switch on the light switch on okay So if I just go here or if I just go back to this and click on refresh it has created one button but it doesn't do anything oops how poor I want now this button to work and what I want to do is if I click on this button then instead of this image it should shoot this one that is light it means we turned on the light or we switched on the light to do so what we need to do is we need to tell button that go to this image and change the source okay so to tell button this we first need to provide ID to this image what is ID do you have roll number yep in schools we have it is somewhat like that I call this ID as light okay. and then in this button what I need to do is when I want to take the action when you click on it so I have to tell on click tap and then it automatically does few things like it is 
added the double quotes and equal to in this double quote I say document because this whole thing is a document dot get element this IMG or body or button button all these are nothing but elements then I again go here sorry I'm doing something wrong now it's not doing my stuff okay it is done get element by ID so we are telling the button okay go to the document search in the whole document and give me one element with ID and that ID is what we have given was light okay and what to do with that is dot src equal to we want to change this source and what the source has to be it was off earlier now it has to be on dot png <sighs> now let's try it whether it works I have to refresh this okay switch on it worked but if it is switched on then it we should be able to switch it off also so I just select the whole line I enter then I paste it so I copied it with control C and I pasted it with control V now I need to do the same thing but here I name the image as off and instead of switch on I make it switch off because I want it off now I save it again now if I go here and refresh this then it says switch on switch off switch on switch off wow these buttons are on the right side should we make them just below the image okay simple way give a break b or slash if we do that these buttons will come down funny isn't it so now open your computers open means switch on your computer and try to follow all the steps we just saw in this small video and you also create this small application of turning light off and on next time we'll do something better than this okay goodbye till then